<laughs> Ooh, what happened to your face? And I looked him dead in the eye and I said, Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and she is a brave, confident woman. What do you define a woman as? An adult human female. And what does a female mean? Uh, well, how, that's do you, how do you define a someone with, with female reproductive organs? Okay. Someone who's you know. Here's the thing: when you're when you're a female, it goes right down to your bones, your DNA. You can tell by the face of the bearded man lady that it's not liking what the common sense man is saying to it. So that's why if someone dies, okay. we could dig up their bones 100 years from now. We have no idea what they believed in their head. He's saying you're delusional, and a person with common sense will not live in your delusional world. But we can tell what sex they were okay. because it's, in, it's, down in, it's, it's in, ingrained in every fiber of their being. The Transformer truly believes what it's saying, and to each their own. Womanhood is something that is an umbrella term. It includes people that who... That describes what? People who identify as a woman. I identify as what? As a woman. I'm gay. I'm a lesbian. I am actually pansexual. I am transgender. I'm a race car. I don't know why, but I believe him. Meanwhile... Hello! Oh, hi. I saw you doing a car wash. Yeah. Yes. What are the donations for? Um, it's for my friend Lynn here. She's transgender and we're trying to raise money for her hormones, so it's for a good cause. Would you call that a good cause? That is a very insensitive man. And that is a very sensitive man. Here are some inspiring words. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to put him in uh, foot, foot, I don't know why, but I believe him. Is there any reason why you're dressed so modestly instead of revealing like most women tend to do when they come out to Miami? I mean, this is just my personal sense of style. I just think it's respectful to others and to my future partner um, and to myself to just cover myself up more. I know that I, you know, take care of myself. I'm pretty athletic, but I don't need to have that on display. That is a very classy and respectable young woman with morals. I have brought this up many times in arguments with females about the revealing clothing that they wear and what kind of signals they're putting out there, the attention that they get, and then they get angry when, when a man approaches them and says, can I slide my BD in your BM? And my thing is this, I'm not saying that women can't be promiscuous, they can be promiscuous, but I absolutely think that women that have a bad past don't deserve a future. Well that's pretty harsh. I believe everyone deserves a second chance and can work towards redemption for themselves. Women that are promiscuous or have bad pasts destroy men's reputations. Look at Will Smith, look at Logan Paul right now. When a girl has a bad past, it can absolutely cripple and destroy a man's reputation. It's a two-way street. If the man chooses the woman with a bad reputation and he decides not to use his condominium when he slides into BMs, doesn't he deserve to get burned with the STD? What is toxic masculinity? Um, <laughs> are, you, are you a teenager? No. How old are you? I'm 24. Oh, uh, too old. Well, expired. They just gave her an example of toxic masculinity. What? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't, wouldn't notice the dudes that couldn't sleep with women. I, I don't like you When the last time you went back. to CVS? About three days ago. And you ain't noticed no guys in there, did you? Oh, man. <laughs> exactly. The reason why you ain't noticed them, because those <laughs> in there ain't getting no box. They work at CVS. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You only notice the men that's getting... <laughs> She knows exactly what he talking about. And the women on birth control, they weren't more attracted to the men with good immune systems for them. And has there been for the past 60 years a selection pressure artificially from birth control making women choose to mate with men that have more feminine characteristics? Making women have more feminine boys? I identify as what? As a woman. Now here's a real woman explaining the difference between hot and cold. It is so hot out there today. I cannot wait to get this air conditioning on. For some reason, I believe her. A country the Great Wall of China is in? Country? Yeah. If you had to guess. Japanese? Fool! Do all Asians look alike to her? Oh my gosh. He, he was awesome. What the hell? Uh, you need to lay off this vegan shit. Twisted, dude, uh, you, damn, that shit exclusive. What the? 
If I was the dude and I heard that and we were a couple, I definitely would have been angry. It probably would have been an issue, but they didn't say anything. They just turned back around. So to me, he seems like a simpleton and she didn't say anything. So she seems like a submissive. I guess they're made for each other. I'll give you a hundred dollars if you call your dad and tell him you're pregnant. Will you actually? I will. Hi dad. Oh. Um, I'm just calling today because I found out I'm pregnant. I didn't pay all this money for you to go to school to get pregnant. Um, I don't know who the dad is. Well, first thing, you're going to have to remember all the guys you slept with, and then you're going to have to petition them for a paternity test. You're going to have to get a job. You're going to have to pay for daycare and maintain your schooling. And if you can't, you're going to have to drop out because I'm not going to take care of your kid. You decided to be an adult. You're supposed to be there to learn. And instead, you got pregnant and had to figure this out. You want to be a big girl. Hey, okay, dad, dad is a prank. This guy said he'll give me $100 if I tell you I was pregnant. So I just got $100. You little witch, this is how you treat your father? You almost gave me an aneurysm. I thought you were going to be another statistic. Okay, I'm very sorry. Thank you. Um, my shake? Sorry? My shake? Um, I didn't get a shake, sorry. Uh, shake your booty? <laughs> <laughs> that laugh of his was hysterical. How good is your head head? 10 out of 10. What makes it a 10? I'll show you. As soon as he hears that, he fears for his pickle real quick. He regrets asking that question. Give me a spin, girl. Yeah. I feel like I can work with it. You're lying. I give Shut good, up. A good five? A good five. Yeah. Try 10 out of 10. You think you 10? Girl, you better look in the mirror. Even though a lot of people would agree with him, that is still very rude to say to somebody that is willing to gobble your pickle juice. <gasps> you look in the mirror. I know I'm a five. Nah, you're a ten out of ten. I know that. Shut up. Hey, bro, you think I'm a ten? Nah, nah. Ten. Nah, nah. Ten. Ten. Nah, nah. Ten out of ten. Nah, nah. Shut up. It's so hard to find a straight man that is confident enough to compliment me on my looks. <laughs> nice balls. <laughs> Bruce Jenner found its man. Sounds like at the end of that he was choking on him. Yeah. I don't know if anybody can relate to this, oh, but that feeling when you feel like you're alone and it can't get any lonelier than this, bro. I am aware of the effect I have on women. I just had like the craziest, saddest thought. Um, I'm in the stage of life where I'm watching all my friends get married and have babies and find love. And my friend was like, you know, you'll meet the one one day, don't give up. But now I'm at a point where I hope I don't because what happens if I meet him and he wants kids and I'm too old to have him? I'm pretty sure there's a man out there that doesn't want children. And if you're the type of woman that provides a number three combo, you'll keep him happy and he'll stick around. And you can adopt some dogs or cats because those type of animals need good homes. But if you want to stay single and continue to feel this way, then you're dumb. I'm a strong, independent woman that doesn't need no man, okay? Meanwhile, why would you pop a cold one when it's 12 degrees out? Everybody knows this is what you do in times of stress. We need to get to the top of the mountain to get shelter and stay warm, and you're popping a cold one. Go build a shelter. I'll be there in a minute. What are you doing? I'm stuck. What, 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 what were you even doing? She was pretending to be you going inside of her assets. So he can cheat on you? Yeah, he can cheat on me. <laughs> so if you're the housewife, he's allowed to cheat? I gave him permission to cheat. Why is that? Because he's taking care of me. She's better off being okay with polygamy because that lowers the chances of sexually transmitted disease she might catch as if she was with a guy and he was just cheating with all kinds of dirty ass fish in the sea. Will you ever be a housewife? Am I going to be a housewife? Would you ever be? I would if I got money. If you got money? Yeah. How much you got to make? A good living so I can be sad. A good living? Yeah. And he can cheat on me. I don't care. As long as he takes care of me. That's definitely some twisted thinking. 
She's not even worried about catching the sicknesses that comes with that because not every dude goes diving in with his condominium on. Ridiculous! What you're about to see here is a five on the Richter scale succubus mindset. For real, like, I'm not even trying to argue with you like at all. And you're being hella mean. Oh my goodness, look at the face. Look at the mindset. That's a nightmare chupacabra snatch come to life. They're gonna not want this long term. You can say it a thousand times, you can have a thousand cultural examples, and women's still gotta go out there and be hoes, you know, because they're about they money and about a Cardi B song. Or yep. It broke my heart to sit across from a 22 year old who sleeps with 10 men a night. And her answer is, well, I make money. Yeah. I'm 22 years old and I'm a full-time sex worker, meaning on, a legal on. prostitute. Um, my passion is social media management and then I do OnlyFans as well. I'm an intimacy coach. I am a legal sex worker and I am an OnlyFans content creator. Yo, man, give me one of them McBaddies. Yo, I kid them right, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll slip head over heels over them. Oh, 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 oh. My bad, bro. I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to pick that up. All I'm right. not gonna get that. Come on, man. Get your <laughs> little body ass up, son. Baby bot body built the ass on, man. Right, come on. Come man. on. Now we gotta pick this. See, man, I mean, when I said, man, I fall down here over heels for these girls, man. I said, many times for these McBaddies. Shouldn't we be able to define what it means to be born in the wrong body? Well, we can define what it means to be in the wrong body. Okay, what is that? What does it mean? I feel like I'm in the wrong body. I really can't do this. Work out like four days a week. Mm -hmm. There's only one thing left to do. Sit on it! Perfect. Like, me and you could be in love, and if you're hurt, you will take it to limits that I won't. As a man, I won't do certain shit. Like, how many niggas you know call the police on a bitch? The bitch could beat him up, could flatten his tires, bitch could fucking throw bricks through his goddamn window, all type of shit. How many niggas you know will pick up the phone? and dial 911 and call the police and get his baby mama or his girlfriend arrested. This nigga definitely spitting some hood facts. Women need to stop saying that they're independent and they don't need no man. It's true, they need to stop saying that shit. Listen, if you are independent and you aren't in need of a man and you have a career and you have goals and you have money, I think that's awesome. But the ironic part is the women who are saying that, they say it because they think it's attractive to a high value guy. They think it's attractive, like a man is gonna hear that, like, oh my God, this woman doesn't need me at all. There's no point of my existence. Let's go procreate with her. No, that's not how it works. Oh. But wait, there's more. Yo, really? Seriously, this can't be my life, bro. Really? This you shit? can't put air oh, in a tire like this, It's Come not on. even going the term airhead might just apply to this woman, but not everybody is born with common sense. A lot of people are dumb, deaf, and blind, even though they perfectly have 20-20 vision, 20-20 hearing, 20-20 SAT scores, and whatever news they're trying to tell you about on 2020. And life can be hard and could pop at any time like that tire. It takes a lighthearted approach to something that so many of us can't even wrap our heads around. I'm going to share it with you guys. Men are the easiest thing in the entire world. I have never wanted a man and not gotten him. Do you have any idea how many men have wanted me and not gotten me? Granted, granted, some dusties have caught me slipping. We are cheap and easy. You are so okay. in denial. Okay. You need therapy. Women feel like we don't need men anymore. Because we don't need men. Says the woman with the manhood schnoz for a nose knows best. You ever hooked up with somebody that no one else knows about? Oh, she definitely yeah. has. Friend of me definitely didn't waste no time throwing her under the bang bus. Oh, I <laughs> no! I don't need a man! I don't need- You don't need a man! I realize that I don't need no man. I don't need no man! Meanwhile... <laughs> All these women and all these men are looking for love in all the wrong places. No decent people, just ugly faces. Ah, come on, fool. Good, eh?